Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw an overlapping logo in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new artboard 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to left click and hold on the rectangle tool. This will bring up another menu where we can select the polygon tool. And with the polygon tool selected, left click anywhere on the artboard, specify the number of sides as three and click OK. This will give you a triangle and you can scale that triangle up or down by holding shift and dragging from one of the corners. We can then hover over the corner to get the rotate symbol up and hold shift and left click to rotate 180 degrees. From the toolbar on the left, remove your stroke and just select a color of your choice as the fill. Next, left click on the shape and drag holding alt and shift to create a copy and just give that another color for now. And then hold Alt and drag up to create another copy. And let's just give this the color white and we'll zoom in nice and close. And we want the bottom point of that shape to line up where the yellow and the blue shape touch. So this white shape is central in between both the yellow and the blue shape. Once it's central, just left click and hold shift to drag it straight up. Now we want the top of the yellow and the top of the blue shape to be equal in width. So if we select the rectangle tool and pick another bright color, so we'll go with red. And we'll just resize this so that it matches the width of the top of the yellow shape. And we can then drag this across and just line it up with the blue shape. And then to adjust the width of the top, just hold shift and drag the white triangle up or down. So there we go. The top of the blue shape and the top of the yellow shape are now equal in width. Now one thing we can do is we could select both the yellow and the blue shape and go to the transparency panel and change the blending mode from normal to multiply. This will blend the two colors together and it will give us another color in between. So we blend the yellow and the blue using multiply and we get green. And while this is great, what we want to do for this tutorial is we want to be able to control what this color in the middle looks like without having to adjust the colors on the outside. So let's go back a step using undo. That's edit and then undo. And what we're going to do is select both the yellow and the blue shape and then in the Pathfinder panel select the bottom left option divide and what that does is it will divide each piece of the shape where the two shapes intersect. So with the direct selection tool we can now pull each of these pieces apart. So if we go back to the main selection tool we just want to drag over the shape now because it's all grouped together and just go to Object, Ungroup. So now what we can do is with the main selection tool, we can pull each of these pieces apart as well. Now this step is quite important because what we're going to do next is select the white triangle at the top, which is still on top of everything, and then hold Shift and select only the central point of the shape. So just these two elements here. And with both of these selected in the Pathfinder panel, select minus front and what it will do is it will knock out that white triangle at the top from the shape below. So now we can go and lay a background in so let's just select the rectangle tool and create a background that is equal to the width and height of the artboard. Give this a fill color of your choice so I'm going to go with a very light gray and select object arrange and center back just to make sure that our background is at the very back and not in front of our logo. And with it still selected, go to Object, Lock and Selection. And this will now lock our background. If you do need to unlock your background for any reason, just go up to Object, Unlock All and it will unlock everything within your document. So now we've got our logo here and we have all of our different pieces. What we can do is select each piece in turn and either select a color from the color picker or we can just double click on a swatch, 
select global and preview and then we can adjust the RGB values until we get a color that we're happy with. So we'll go for a red on the left. Let's double click this blue. Again, select global and preview. And we'll adjust the blue here. Now typically if you mix together red and blue, you get purple. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a purple color. So let's double click a purple swatch for the middle. And we'll just adjust this. So now we can control this central color to be the exact shade of purple that we want. So this is really helping with that overlap logo effect is that the blending of these two colors on the outside create the color in the middle where they overlap. Your logo doesn't have to make sense if you don't want, but that's just what we're going to do for this tutorial. So we'll blend them together, something like this. And when you're happy, click OK. Now all of the pieces of our logo are still individual shapes. So the last step is to drag over everything, go to object and group. So you can now move this around as one object and then select this icon at the top. Make sure that align to artboard is selected and then you can align it both horizontally and vertically in the center of your artboard. And there we go. That's how to draw an overlapping logo in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.